and perhaps someday a new world for humans. A new study shows frozen water beneath the surface of Mars. Images captured by the Mars Orbiter helped identify eight locations of glacial erosion. National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fazekas joins us this morning. Andrew, good morning. Tell us more about this ice water on Mars that's been discovered. Right, so there's a lot of buzz amongst the scientific community for two reasons with this new uh, announcement of this uh, uh, structural, very buried ice where we can see like ring-like structures, layers upon layers exposed onto the surface of Mars. Why it's so exciting is at first scientifically, this eight locations that have been identified by an orbiter called the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter that's been there for about 12 years, they are excited because it shows us more, much more detail, more than ever before, about the past history of Mars, particularly what went on with the water that once existed on Mars. We think Earth, uh, Mars looked a lot like Earth uh, billions of years ago. It was warm and wet, had plentiful water, and now that water is now trapped below the, the uh, a layer of probably one to two meters of of, uh, of uh, rock and very thin veneer of rock, but it's something that's accessible. And that's also why it's interesting because if we're talking about future human missions to Mars, these locations uh, may be very suitable for mining the surface or actually using the water, water ice, getting at it uh, with nothing more than maybe with just a shovel and a pail. That's what a ast Martian astronaut may need simply to get access to fresh water ice on Mars. So that makes it doubly exciting. That must be particularly exciting for those bottled water companies. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, some images that came uh, out of a 3D flight through the Orion Nebula. NASA astronomers, Andrew, uh, have these visual effects and, and they've combined it into some uh, video that we're showing our viewers right now. This is pretty spectacular. What can you tell us about it? About right. the video, that is. Yeah, this is, this is unprecedented. What you are looking at is, for the first time, we're able to fly through, uh, virtually, uh, a stellar nursery, basically a star factory that's located 1,400 light years away. It's, it's 24 light years across, this gas cloud, and it's filled with baby stars. These little blobs that you see uh, scattered throughout these wispy clouds are all this is all rendered with a supercomputer uh, that NASA has, and it's put out for the general public to be able to really understand our place in the universe. And this is one of those locations where stars and planets are born, and it probably showcases what uh, the birthplace of Earth over four and a half billion years ago looked like. So we're actually traveling back in time in a sense of being able to see the birthplace of the Earth uh, and our sun uh, so many billions of years ago in this faraway gas cloud. And it's a visualization that uses Hollywood-style techniques of being able to have these dramatic views of this gas cloud. Boy, I'd sure like to know more about that, and I look forward to further conversations on that topic right there. National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fasekas, thanks for this in the meantime. Clear skies. <laughs>